the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. Isaiah 9, 2. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Isaiah 53, 3. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. Isaiah 53, 4. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. John 1, 1 through 2 and 14. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 53, 4. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. And everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Luke 2, 1 and 3 through 5. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 53, 6. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Luke 2, 6-7 He poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercessions for the transgressors. Isaiah 53, 12. I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I'm going back to the Father. John 16, 28.
When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Luke 24, 50, 51. When we see the manger, we need to remember the reason for Jesus' birth. He came to earth as a sweet baby to save us from our sin. Without the manger, we would not have a cross. Without the manger and thus the cross, we would not have a way to heaven. The manger is very important and cannot be separated from the cross. Jesus was born in the manger to be with us. He died on the cross to save us. That was God's intention. He was giving us a way to experience life in Christ while providing a way for us to spend eternity with Him. How amazing it is to see His plan carried out through a little baby born in a lowly manger. This baby, Jesus, provides a self-sacrificing act of profound love by dying on the cross. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. That's the power of the cross, from the manger to the cross. Oh, what a Savior.